This video walks you through the sections page template on your MyPro powered website. We're going to go through the My Lifestyle Pro uh, demo of the front page to show you how we have it set up right now. So as you can see, we have all these gorgeous full width sections, tons of content, lots of customization options here. So we'll start by editing this page so I can show you what we have. You can create any page and set the template as sections. And in order to get these fields to show up, you have to either save it as a draft or publish it. And now we have all these settings. You can add a title, you can add some content. So this is our first section. As you can see, we have uh, just some text to quote. And when we view the settings, you can see I changed the background color to dark and the height to small and the width to small and the alignment to center. Let's bring up another page so we can see it. So here you can see the height is small. There's not much height between the content and the width was set to small. So it takes up just the center area of the site. Now we'll go to section two and you can add sections at the bottom just by adding or that's the only button that'll be there when you first start. Uh, section two, we have a title of latest posts. Uh, let's give it a look. Latest posts, the little text, and we have this nice grid slider here. So here we have our title, our text, and a short code, grid short code with a bunch of settings. Here's the section settings. Just using a white background, no image, no overlay, no inner styling, with medium height, which is the default, and default width, which is also the default that uses the width of the layout as set here. So we have it as full width. <clears throat> and the content alignment is center. Very simple. Let's go to section three. Here we have some columns. You can watch the video or the docs for the columns and call short codes. And we have uh, just a form with some text inside it and in the column as a background image. And we set the height to auto so, there, so it doesn't add any gap and the width to full width. So it doesn't add any gap or padding on, on each side of the section. And that's how we get this full width half uh, checkerboard look here. Section three, uh, four, I mean, is very similar to the other one where it's just got a slider and some text. Nothing tricky here, default settings. Section five has a background image with a light box as the inner styling. That's how we get this look. And here's another grid short code with the image location as background and aligned center middle default settings here. And that's how we get this cool look to the grid short code. This section has no content, just a background image. That's it. So now we get this full width image breaks up the content and looks great. And now we have a grid of our WooCommerce products in the last section. So here we're using grid, but we're setting the content to product with some parameters here of what we want to show, image, title, price, and a link to the shop to view all the products. Basically the default settings here too. Nothing tricky. That's the end of our sections. And that's how easy it is to build a beautiful front page or full width sections page in your MyPro powered website. Thanks for watching.